Today I guide you step by step through the process of creating a chevron cutting board and more importantly how to knock over your camera like an idiot. Enjoy! I finally want to try my hands on the face grain chevron cutting board. It couldn't be that complicated, right? And I was correct. It's pretty easy and can be done with just a few tools. First, we choose our contrasting wood types. I first mill up some walnut, paduk and maple lumber, because I think that those go together ridiculously well. You'll see at the very end just how well they go together, <laughs> it's crazy. Next, I remove all life edges from my board such that we can easily cut them into strips in the coming step. My boards all had different thicknesses, but this really didn't matter to me. I chose the thickest wood of them all for reference and set up my table saw fence referencing its thickness as the later cutting width. And then I simply cut a bunch of strips. Done. Now we arrange the colors to our liking. I wasn't quite satisfied yet, as you can notice here, so I went over to my sliding table saw again and cut one more paduk strip. Yes, that's better. To get our arrow-ish chevron effect, we need to cut all glued up strips at an angle later. To save a lot of wood from going to waste, I decided to already lay them out in a way such that the first angled cut would only shave off a few small prisms from the board. You'll see soon what I mean by that. Then came the glue up. It was really not complicated at all, it just requires a metric shitload um, for my American friends out there that is roughly an imperial fuckton of clamps to really get a tight bond of all overhanging parts. And before tensioning my clamps, I made once again sure that my wood was arranged at my desired 45 degree angle. And once that was good to go, I got to business. Next day rolled around and I spent only the first 69 hours removing all the clamps that were used. And once done, I scraped off some squeeze out before proceeding on my sliding table saw. I then set up my angle stop to be at a roughly 45 degree angle. Just a side note, the angle at which you cut can be completely arbitrary and you can even vary the cutting sizes and angles midway. All those variations will just lead to less or more pointy arrows which have shorter or longer heads. I tried to cut consistent 45 degree angle strips with constant width this time though to give the board a clean and static look. By the way, I don't believe that many hobbyists have a sliding table saw at their disposal. But that is no problem at all. Simply create an angle plywood sled for your table saw and it will all work out equally well. Rip in pieces, Cam. You will be dearly missed. After a bit of cutting action, I went over to do my first glue up. Seven strips per board fit the dimensions rather lovely, at least by eye, so I squeezed these together with some type on free.
Hardest part about the glue up was to get all seams aligned perfectly. Definitely, that's the most important part. Take your time when doing this step. Mistakes and misalignments cannot be fixed anymore once glued up. I had about four strips left, which I couldn't use for a bigger cutting board anymore. So what I did was a 420 IQ chat move and resawed over at my band saw and proceeded to glue these up into a thinner chevron panel. Next day and only a few things were left to do on my agenda. Let's get rid of all rough faces by jointing one side and then planing the opposite of each cutting board. After that, I went over to my table saw and cut all the boards to their final dimensions. For the thinner panel, I went ahead and cut it into smaller breakfast boards. Then I shaped those in reference to my Luru Fire boards that I recently made too, making sure I don't hurt myself in the process again. The link to the video can be found down there in the description below. You should really watch it, the boards came out pretty fantastic. Now. Let us enter the finish line by first chamfering all edges using a 45 degree chamfer bit. Then sanding all the way up to a 320 grit, including a water pop before the final shave. And then we butter those bitches up really good using my homemade cutting board finish. Link to that video can also be found down there in the description below. And then we were already done. Holy Michael Morbius! Those three wood types go together too damn well, don't you think? And I think the boards in themselves turned out gorgeously, considering it was my first time trying out this pattern. I hope that video helped and you can also now go ahead and create a set for yourself. If it did, why not make sure to show your support to the channel by subscribing. It would really help out the channel a lot and make it grow a lot faster. And other than that, don't forget to also check out my shop for handcrafted products, damage.eu and yeah. Well, what else can I say? Up until the next video, I wish you guys a flammable day and please stay safe. Ciao!